All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part seven of the cabinet and kitchen design. Um, I mistakenly said part five on the last one. That was part six, so this is now part seven. Um, you'll see on the screen here, I do have a render that I finally was able to go through. It's not a great quality one. I did it on a high setting um, because I'm having some issues with this computer here. But you'll see that we're, we're coming along here. So at any point, you can actually quit on this tutorial because you have almost a fully functioning kitchen. Um, I do have, I do want to show you guys how to make these stools that I made and I also want to show you how to finish the trim because I did a little bit of trim in the corners here. Um, I want to show you how to get the corner piece of the trim so we're going to do that first. Okay, so I'm going to close this render and I'm going to move out, right click, see how we got all this gray up here, right click on the cube, go back to parallel, so now we're in a good view. Um, in order to get a corner piece, okay, so you'll see in here what I did was I took that same profile and I flipped it around and I put it in the back here and then I extruded it forward and just until where they would hit each other okay like at this at this same front corner here okay now in order to get that piece what I did was I took two of them like this and I just intersect them with each other okay they gotta have the same top right what you'll do is you'll do intersect of this and this and hit enter and you get that piece alright and then that piece, you'll move in from this back corner. And that will go right in that place. And then you will union one, two, three. I also did some slicing back here to clean that up a little bit. You can't see it anyways in the render, but it's not really a big deal. All right. So that's that. Um, let's see what else. Finish the trim on the other side. We did the backsplash last video. All right. So let's talk about the stools. Okay. So I'm going to copy one of those out. And I'm going to go back to, uh, hopefully I remember the numbers for what I made this. I actually, I wanted to make it off screen just, you know, because it was going to be a little bit more difficult of something to make. 2D wireframe. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to start with, and by the way, this stool could look a million different ways, but this is just the one I came up with. Okay, um, you're going to start with a rectangle. You're going to click and you're going to do at 14 comma 14. Okay, then you're going to take a line and you're going to go through the middle. You're going to take lines and you're going to go off these corners and you're going to go up 24. Four of them all together. Okay, so you got something like that. You're going to draw a circle from the midpoint until it hits those. Now, I want that circle to be... Um, actually, that circle is perfect the way that it is. So we need a copy of that. So we'll make a copy at the midpoint and we'll put it right back down where it was. One of these, I'm going to orbit this a little bit. One of these, if I draw a line out like this, I want to trim this spot right here. And that's going to leave me with like basically every piece of the pizza besides that one. So that's what I need. But I need the opposite of that for the other piece. I need the little piece for that. Okay, so you'll see that I do have the bigger circle here. I'm going to take the bigger circle, this line, and this line, and I'm going to move that stuff out at my special predetermined distance of, let's say, three feet. Trim everything else. Get rid of these lines, although we're going to need that to move it back in. So before you do that, grab this. Now nah, we don't need it. We can grab it from right here. Okay, erase those lines. And now we've got one that's just a small piece and one that's like this, okay? Um, next thing, you're going to put a line across like that. And you're going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? Actually, let's do this. Let's, let's forget that line. Let's do a rectangle from here to here. That's also 14 by 14. But I want to pinch in those legs a little bit like this. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to grab the midpoint on it and move it in two inches on each side. And now two inches looks a little bit tight, but I'm going to go with it anyways. Okay. Then take these lines and go like this. So that's now a 10 by 10 box up there. Whoops. Take these and point them at the corners. 
So that's how you get those to kick in, right? All right, next thing, uh, we're gonna do a, we're gonna go and put a line up here and we're gonna put a circle up there that is roughly, let's see if this was, if that is, uh, well, if this point is 10, uh, five radius, let's do like a seven radius and see what that looks like. Nope, let's go bigger, let's go, let's go nine. Nope, let's go eight. Nine was a little bit too big. Eight. That's perfect, just like that, okay? This part's easy. Extrude this up. It's going to go a positive four inches. Get rid of the diagonal. Okay, let's go to conceptual for a second. You see that that's the top. We're going to do a fillet edge radius of two. And we'll do that around this edge right here and hit enter twice. So we got that part figured out. We're then going to take this and this and move those up six inches. We don't need this box anymore down here. What we do need though is we need six circles on the ground. They are going to be radius 0.75. Take that circle that you made, do copy, and I need six total. It doesn't matter where you put them. Now comes the sweep. Sweep, circle, enter, line. Enter brings you back into it. Circle, enter, line. Circle, enter, line. Enter brings you back in. Circle, enter, line. Enter brings you back in. Circle, enter, circle. Circle, enter, small circle. Union. We're going to union these two together. That puts that as one. I'm actually probably going to union all of those on the bottom because they're all going to have the same material anyways. And that's pretty much it. I moved it in at that point. I went like this. I took a line from here. I went about 10. I took this with the line. I moved it from the end of that line. And we're going to get a frame rate drop here. But actually, before you do that, I'd probably move the walls out. So let's move that out again, 25 feet. And what I did was I just put that end of that line right here, and that puts that there. Okay, so now let's just pretend that you did that, and I don't have these other stools. I then go back to 2D wireframe, I go to the top view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stool, both pieces of it, and I'm going to mirror that over probably this midpoint, and then hit no for erasing the source object. Then take both of those and mirror those on a diagonal from this corner. If you're not getting a corner there, E, N, D, enter, to this corner. Again, actually, we could just go to that one too. That's fine. And then do you want to erase the source object? No. So now we have our stools where we want them. We're going to change our view so you can see them. Maybe we'll go to our camera real quick, double click, apply, okay, and you get something like that, okay? Um, that's it for that. What else do I want to show here? We're going to have to split our wall. Our wall is really tight here, so the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this floor, if I can select it, and let's go back to 2D wireframe, and we're back on parallel. Let's take this floor and see if we can still stretch that. It doesn't look like we can. So we're going to go to box. We're going to go like this and slide out. It doesn't really matter how far you go. Uh, maybe it does because we want to know how far to move that wall. Okay, so let's do that box again. Let's do length. And we're going to go an additional 10 feet. And then we're going to go this way to there. And then we're going to go down to this end point down here. E, N, D, enter forces it to look for just an endpoint and then union these two together enter so now we've got a lot bigger of a room this one in the top view because and the reason why I'm doing this is because that wall was like right next to the soles um, and also because I want to put a fridge right over here next to these cabinets okay so we got like two things left to do here we got to do a fridge we're gonna have to do a stove either here or here and that might be it okay I, I you know maybe some lighting we'll probably change the lighting right now we're using the sun as lighting which is not really ideal uh, maybe we'll put some lights in there but at that point that'll be pretty much it okay so all right let's split this wall 
So you're going to draw a line through right here. Don't interrupt your window. Leave that window alone. But draw a line through there. Do slice. Click the wall. Hit enter. And then go from there to there. And hit enter for keep both sides. Get rid of the line. Move this one over by 10 feet. Because that's what we added with the flooring. And then go back to a 3D view. Use box. Fill it in with the box tool. Probably just take this one and copy it. Okay, that's a big kitchen now. Should have started bigger in the beginning, but I didn't really... I was just winging it, you know, there's nothing special to it. Union, and then you put them together. Okay, now we're going to move this back. 25 feet. It's actually after hours right now, so I'm going to end this video in about a minute. Um, it's not as long as I normally like to do, 15 to 20 minutes, but that's okay. So let's go back to our camera view. View, double click camera, hit apply, hit OK. You'll see that I now have uh, plenty of space here to actually do a fridge and the wall is not right up against my stools here. Okay, so I'll leave this at that. This video is more about making the stools and finishing up the trim. And then, like I said, we're looking at lighting, we're looking at a stove, we're looking at a fridge, and then I think we're going to call it a day on this uh, video set. All right, so this was number seven. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, later. Gotta catch them all.